Hi, I'm David Davis from Actual Tech Media. Excited to be here at the Cohesity Truck behind the behind the scenes <laughs> uh, with Mr. John Hildebrand, Principal Technologist at Cohesity. How you doing, John? Uh, pretty good. How about you? Doing great. This is really exciting stuff. I know this is kind of a, a special project you've been working on lately with with you and your team here to create something really incredible. So first, just tell us where we are. What are we doing here? <laughs> well, for the folks at home, we are actually in the back of a big truck trailer. Uh, we have, as you can see behind me, what appears to be a full-fledged data center. Um, we have, obviously, you can see the Cohesity logos at the forefront, but we've got multitudes of other equipment running throughout this thing. So it's not just a simple, you know, like a server under a desk type of idea. We are literally looking at three racks of what you would probably see in an enterprise data center. And this is in a massive, I don't know, how big is this trailer? I, it's, I, it, I feel it's definitely bigger than 53 feet. It may be yeah. pushing more towards the 70 foot range. It's not even wrapped on the outside. It's kind of a gunmetal gray color. <laughs> exactly. um, and tell us about the infrastructure behind the trailer. So, well, you start off with the fact we have got power for days running around. I mean, for any sort of data center, one of the first things you got to consider is power and cooling. And we're definitely covered with that whether it's the, the big generator we're gonna have hooked up to even the fact, um, you can see we got some big APC battery units to help us in case the batteries, or in case the, um, the, the generator has any sort of issue. Yeah. It, it buys us you know, 45 to 60 minutes of time to get things shut down before it, uh, power is completely pulled from it. And then on top of that, then you start to get into the actual infrastructure itself. A lot of top of rack and even say spine-based uh, networking that's going on. Uh, we have our, obviously our Cohesity units, and then we've, uh, we've selected for, uh, for at least the core infrastructure in the first go-around, we have some Dell PowerEdge 6400 series. Okay. So it's given us about 24 nodes to work with in uh, different configurations of ESX for management, ESX for powering our demo stations, uh, all the way then down to um, Hyper-V. We've got a Hyper-V cluster roaming in there, and we've also got some vCloud director specific uh, devices set up within. And then last but not least, we have uh, VR partners at uh, Peer. We uh, have one Peer all flash array that's helping us from a storage perspective um, as we didn't feel, especially since this is going to be going down, uh, going down, you know, interstates. Down the uh, road. Oh yeah, so. uh, bumping on everything. Right. As, as it's been explained, this thing's probably gonna be under the stress of something about like a 6.0 earthquake where it, whenever wow. it's in motion. So, um, while these may be hyper-converged nodes from a Dell perspective, we didn't load them with disk. We wanted to try to keep the number of spinning disks within the data center down to a minimum, just because of the shock factor. I mean, some of the things I've noticed are, you know, the UPSs are about up to my waist, and there's <laughs> two of them. Um, and you guys had to put some special straps on the front of them to keep the battery packs from, from falling out as you're driving down the road. <laughs> Well, if you figure, um, so one of the gentlemen on my team, Chris Collotti, he's ha he has an RV. If you have an RV, you remember one of the first things you have to do is secure everything That's before right. it goes in motion. So we had to uh, kind of put the same principles within here. So not only so on our on our battery units, I don't know if we can open this up real quick just to just to show it, but what we've actually done is we've put some special special bars in front of it to keep those battery units from sliding yeah. out for any particular reason. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, we've done a lot of reinforcement within the rack to uh, be able to handle and keep the things from bouncing up and down with when it's, when it's under that amount of stress happening as it goes down the road. So um, these aren't just, you know, risers, uh, cosmetic risers in between these things. These are full-fledged metal devices that are keeping not only the rack from bowing out, mm. but also to keep uh, the things above and below it from bouncing around and, and wow. stable at the same time. So, yeah, uh, you wouldn't ever figure when it comes to a data center, you'd have to factor in geological stability. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. As well. I mean, I saw the diesel generator outside. It's about the size of my Jeep. Uh, it's going to power this thing. Um, I know, is there internet access or satellite or how does that work? Yeah, so what we've actually done is we've got a little, uh, like a 4G router uh, in the back. Uh, we've got some antennas attached to the top of the, top of the, uh, truck itself yeah. and we've got a couple of 4G SIM cards in there uh, to provide us you know 4G access uh, limited uh, obviously depending upon where we're gonna have this because this could be anywhere from 
in a major downtown metropolitan area to maybe some places where cell phone coverage, especially 4G coverage, isn't exactly all that prevalent. So, um, so even when we get into some of our design principles of what we had to do to consider in here, I mean, that is considered more of a limitation. We do not have constant internet access, or we, we're not expecting constant internet access in this device. Is there anything that you've learned during the, the architecture and building of this data center in a truck that you think could help real world companies? I mean, I know there's a lot of kind of edge use cases out there, uh, data centers on oil rigs or on ships or things like that. What have you learned that might help real IT organizations? Well, um, again, you don't ever take for granted the, the physical plant that you're working in when it yeah. comes to your data center space and things like that. I mean, you got to figure, I mean, we had to fabricate a bar to come across here to just consider you know some of the some of the physical accesses right. of, of what you're doing where your data center is located at okay. it's very important so but then on top of it what we're also going to show is the we're our, our solution should be relatively rugged enough to handle probably one of the worst environments that we're going to be able to throw at it Absolutely. so we're we're kind of in the middle you know it's kind of like some of the I think like the Columbia jacket commercials where they do some of those extreme tests where they're throwing them out in snow and water and everything well we're going to try to put our money where our mouth is and show off that we can handle um, the most, uh, probably more, the most extreme data center use cases that uh, you can come up with. Yeah. So let's take a look here at the showpiece of the truck, the Cohesity sure. City Cluster. It's going to be a little loud. Uh, well, if you can't tell based off the noise, this is a data center. It's a real data center, yeah. too. Yeah. We, we, we did not just power on the blinky <laughs> lights and everything else. So, so is this a typical Cohesity City Cluster here or what? Yeah, so, so what we're looking at here is each one of these nodes is in our 2500 series. So specifically, these are the C2515s. And so like a typical hyper-converged appliance, there's a little bit of SSD caching with uh, some of the more higher capacity spinning disks. Okay. Each one of these uh, has roughly about 90 terabytes raw usable wow. inside of it. So what we've set up is two clusters. One of them, so to kind of show off that we can protect in some of the worst cases out there, our top cluster here is going to actually protect the rest of the infrastructure. So all the core components, all of our VMware specific, you know, uh, like, uh, like vCenter and you know, Active Directory and those sorts of core, if you want to call them priority zero type of devices for a data center. So we're going to protect them here. We have a, a secondary cluster, so we have about 180 terabytes usable across the eight nodes that are in here. Same thing down here, but th this one is gonna be a little more of the experimental one. We're gonna allow for our folks who are gonna be operating the demo stations to show live demonstrations to this. And what we can have is the capability of doing some replication back and forth between these. And if the internet's uh, you know, allowing us, the internet gods are letting us use the 4G connection, we can even also show off some of our cloud capabilities okay. and being able to archive to, uh, so like our AWS or Azure accounts to, to, you know, to take some of the age data off of this and, and put it somewhere else. Right. And then obviously we've got our, our six Dell Power Edge to 6400 series. Um, as mentioned, no, no disks in them. Everything's being provided by the pure storage array below. But uh, the configuration is just uh, each one's got the four nodes in like a typical hyper-converged fashion. And like I said, we're running uh, a management cluster, a uh, what we call our, our compute cluster, a vCloud director cluster inside, and just to make things interesting, that Hyper-V cluster on top of it. So. Very cool. And let's close the door so that the audience can, uh, can hear us talking a little bit because it's really loud. It's a really awesome Cohesity, multiple clusters in there. Um, I mean, before we go, you know, a couple, couple more questions that come to mind. Sure. One is, when people think about Cohesity, they might just think of data protection. I mean, is that, is that all that Cohesity does? No, I, it's definitely, while it may be something that we're more known for, is a lot of these companies start off, you got to start off and be known for something. Right. So I, I, I caution that it's not just backup and recovery, while, while, although the bread and butter is, is there for it. Uh, we can get into things where these nodes can also be used as scale out NAS devices for enterprises. So actually we do have in some of our demonstrations and for some of the rest of the infrastructure, we're providing whether it's NFS, whether it's uh, SMB shares or even, even S3 objects shares at the same time to some of the demo stations and to some of the critical, uh, to, to the critical infrastructure components as well. So we're kind of using it more than just as a backup and recovery engine, we're also using it to provide 
you know, those secondary storage use cases to the rest of the infrastructure. Absolutely, yeah. So just a lot more than data protection, mm -hmm. secondary storage, file services, all sorts of other use cases for Cohesity. Um, I mean, where will we see the truck out there? Well, uh, I know in the early stages, we're going to be starting off mostly around the, uh, around the I wouldn't say necessarily the Bay Area, but here more in the south uh, yeah. southwest United States. Obviously, as the schedule opens up and winter releases its grasp on the rest of the country, we're pretty much expecting to go coast to coast. Awesome. So, um, yeah, we could be, we're definitely going to be crisscrossing the Midwest, going back and forth from the south to the northeast to the northwest, uh, whether it's going to partner locations, um, whether it's going to sporting events, uh, depending upon what sort of relations we, uh, we have with some of the, the folks in those areas, all the way to potentially you could see this as the booth at, at a large trade show That'd at some awesome. particular point. So awesome. yeah, it's going to be a little multi-purposed with the, uh, it's, it's, it's going to look like one of those cases uh, with all the different stickers for all the different places <laughs> it's been. It's going to have quite a few of those by the time it's all said and done. Very cool. Well, congratulations on getting your executive briefing center in a truck, <laughs> a rolling, if we if we want to say that. Yep. Uh, very cool. Thanks for the deep dive into the architecture on how this thing works and the sneak peek. I uh, appreciate your time and your info today. Uh, for more information, visit Cohesity.com.